Come here, you little rat. Come here, come on. We are having a sleepover. Yes, I am 18, thanks for fucking asking. Okay, so basically, here's the situation. My father's away in the Philippines, or an island country like that, uh, surfing. He's gone on a surfing trip. Is he very good at surfing? No, but don't tell him that. Anyway, he's away for 10 days. I've been feeding the pets while I stay at mum's house, but not tonight. I, I will still feed the pets tonight, but not tonight, because I'm not gonna I'm not, gonna not feed the pets because, you know, I, I look after pets, they are my friends. Tonight, I'm having a sleepover at my father's house, which I do stay at 50% of the time. So it's fun and exciting and new and fresh. Basically, we're gonna be having a standard old sleepover. The only people in the house are me and Prim, the cat, and Taro, the dog, and the basil plant, if you wanna count that. Let's call him Pat. I was gonna say Craig, but the turnip was named Craig, or the radish, no, the fuck, the turnip, the turnip. If you notice the image has been uh, clearer, that's because it is, because I was working at my internship thing today and I had to record, and so I got the camera, the office camera, and it's a big dog. I mean, it's a fat boy with a fat big lens. It's a big fat boy. A little, f little fat boy. You wanna know who else is a little fat boy? You, ya fat f And basically, when I stay at Dad's house, I've gotta do some chores, yeah? As people do, as an 18 year old does. An 18 year old that's having a sleepover with two animals. A little bit sad, don't you think? So the first chore is to walk the dog, and it's now quarter to eight, so thank God forget daylight saving times. I've always stood by that message, so. Th yep, daylight fucking saving. And I reckon that's the thing that's been screwing me up for the last week and a half. Daylight saving. Let's go. Move your bum out of the camera. There you go, you ravenous and hungry little feline creature. It's time to walk the dog. Walk? <gasps> walk. What a magnificent sunset. Sit. Sit. <gasps> stay. Stay. Come on. Look at that skyline! Oh! Oh! Well, I'm get really not used to holding a camera like this and talking in a park, but hey, there's no one here. Which is why it's the perfect time for our dog Tara, because I think that he's just a real big loner dog. Because he doesn't really mix well with that other dog, because maybe that was our fault because we didn't socialise him well enough, but hey. So basically, if a dog comes up to him that he doesn't like, which is all dogs, by the way, there's been one dog once, one dog a lot older than him, a lady, a cougar, you could call him and they had a short fling, a short romance in uh, Canberra. But now, he just has forever been heartbroken and has never found anyone to replace that. Except one time I did catch him humping a male dog, so maybe he's gay. And the one time that I did see him that humping that dog, I just sort of like looked at him and I was like, what the fuck? I'm gonna sit you down and talk to you. Yeah, here we are. What an interesting pose to have. I'm gonna hold like this. Look, I don't often get turned on by nature, but that skyline's pretty damn good at the moment. And it's pretty smoky as well because of all the fires that are going on. Hey, I did not get turned on by those fires. It was more just the look at the skyline as a whole. But yeah, Tari doesn't socialize. And I caught him humping that dog one time and I looked at him and then I looked at the dog's owner and the dog's owner looked at me and I was like, uh, how do we proceed here? Do we just let them have it? Because it didn't seem like the dog was having that bad of a time that Tari was humping. Couldn't really tell though, because dogs don't really smile, do they? Tari, chill. Dog, chill. Because he's so old, we can't walk him for as long as we used to, and we don't really throw the ball anymore, because that just puts his limp on more. And he's also a bit, he's a bit old, he's a bit unfit, I'm sorry to say it. Are you offended, Tara? <laughs> say, say yes if you're not offended. <laughs> got him, because dogs can't talk. You did get him. You got that dog, you absolute fool. Tara, come back here. Tara, Tara, Tara come back here, I want to say something. Tara, come back here, I want to say Tara, come here. Come here, come here. Fuck, we're just gonna have to go from here, aren't we? Yeah, well, I've got the ball now, so you gotta listen. He thought the view was pretty. I thought he was prettier. Thank you. That is my TED talk, thank you for listening. So that's the dog walk done, and then uh, I've got a couple of other jobs to do. Dude, dad wrote me a list. How kind. Thanks, father. First up is water Craig, or, or no, it's not Craig. Water Basil. Feed Basil. Craig. No, I'm gonna just call him, gonna call him Basil, because people are called the herbs now, aren't they? I met a man called Kale, years ago. Kale, like, that, people don't like kale. This is my dungeon area, this is downstairs of the house. Everybody else, as in Dad and Stella and Mum, before she left. 
<laughs> Got you. Divorce doesn't affect me. And so I bought myself a couch. That, that's the couch. I got myself a guitar, which got repaired today. That's the guitar. And I got my, bought myself a TV. That's the TV. That's the couch. That's the TV. People know what a couch and a TV looks like. You don't need to say what it is after you've just shown it on the screen. <laughs> and so that's where I'm going to watch a movie. We, oh we, are going to watch a movie later on. We, all three of us, and Tara, all four of us. And Craig, turn up, no, Basil, we, all of us are gonna watch a movie together. Okay, I just did this whole bit and then the mic wasn't working. No, not the mic, I just didn't press record. Yeah, little fuck. Prim, Prim, come here, baby. Oh, look at this position I picked out. Yes? It's not the first time I've talked about it because I didn't just record, y yeah? Here's the position, how cool is it? I'm like a little, I'm like a little patient talking to the therapist about my problems. I first realised it was a problem when the store clerk looked at me wrong for buying too many broccolini. That's not funny, Ned. That's not fucking funny. Prim, please come here. I want you over... Prim, come here. Okay. This is one of Prim's favourite positions. She stayed here before. Let's see if she stays here again. Just on your belly like this. Oh. She likes to be in a sphinx position with her two little paws and look at you dead in the eyes while you try to sleep. Look at me dead in the eyes, Prim. A sleepover. I haven't had a proper good old fashioned sleepover for a while. And what we used to do in Canberra is get a tent. I used to have a tent and we'd put it up in the backyard and then all the gang, uh 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 uh, you're hanging out. Come back, you're having a good time, trust me. You're enjoying yourself. Okay, we've secured the prim for at least another minute. What an elegant, elegant person. As I was saying, thank you Primrose. I forgot what I was saying because your eyes were so darn beautiful. You must realize that that cat would sell your soul for one corn chip. We'd all get in the tent and then hang out. Let's think of some typical things you do. You can have a fire, total fire ban. There are fires in Australia right now, so that's a no. Food, marshmallows, big yes. I'm sort of feeling like s'mores. I don't really know what they are, but they get hyped up a lot in the media that I watch. So I think it's about time that I try to create one and hopefully it won't be as disastrous as the pumpkin pie was. Ow, 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 oh, oh, her claw was right in my nipple. I was. Ow, 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 oh. God damn it, cat. As I was saying for the second time, you nasty feline creature. As I was saying, we'd all gather around. Is this odd? Oh God, I don't know if I like this. Sort of looks like we're laying in bed next to each other. <laughs> As I was saying for the third time, you stupid animal. I do love her, don't, I, I like my cat, don't. Please don't court animal protective services. As I was saying, and then we'd hang out, have some food. Classic sleepover food, meat lovers, Domino's pizza. Don't know if I can do that to myself. Maybe I'll make a pizza. I won't, I won't make a pizza. Maybe I'll buy a frozen pizza. Oh, that'll bring back grandma, grandma home vibes. Prim, you're gonna relax. S'mores, frozen pizza. And then everyone used to gather around and we'd play like games, best game by far, truth or dare. One time this kid in the group downloaded an app on, app on the app store. God, why do I sound so old when I talk about phones? An app on the app store. Where else are you gonna get the app from, Ned? I was doing mean Ned's job for me. Or douche Ned? I don't really have a name for that alter ego. Just mean man. Oh, you thought I was gonna have a snappy reply. I'm, I'm okay. I don't mind what you call me. Douche Ned? Mean Ned? Sexy Ned? Ned's crippling self-doubt? Either of the above. As I was saying, for the final time, downloaded an app and it was like an 18s only, 18 only, 18s only plus, 18s plus. That's what it's called. And 18's plus, you really are struggling here, Ned, aren't you? Truth or Dare app, right? And we were all playing this at the age of what? Like 11? And one of the questions was like, in sex, do you like to go slow and sweet or hot and sweaty? And then we got to go around to answer, and the most common answer was start with slow and sweet, and then go to hot and sweaty. And we were all there just like, uh-huh, 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 I, yes, yes. Girls, girls are pretty. Let's get crack a lacking. It's time to go. I am so hungry. It's now 10 past nine. I've been leaving this for a little while. I don't really know why. But I've got some grandmother's frozen pizza to look forward to. I don't know why I keep calling it that. My grandmother doesn't make frozen pizza. It's just frozen pizza used to have my grandmother's house and I'm really excited for it. And I'm chewing some gum to hold me over. Because for some reason that manages to prim. You're gonna have to work with me. For some reason that holds over my hungriness. You know what I mean? Going to the shops at night is probably one of my favorite things to do in the world, so. 
Let's do it. It's so dark in here. Maybe because it's nighttime now, you fuck with. I just realized that the fuel light is on. We gotta stop by the service station as well. And uh, that is another place that I love to go at nighttime. It's just at nighttime when there's no one there. It's so, so much better. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm at the front of the Coles now. I was gonna record, I recorded this little funny little clip. I wanted to like walk up to the car and do the old uh, leprechaun heel kick. You know what I mean? You know, and you like kick it, yeah? But then the Ushis, the boys showed up and I was like, well, I'm uh, the last thing I'm gonna do in front of these gentlemen is click my heels. <laughs> And I've just realized I didn't even search out what s'mores. I just... Who the fuck would eat that? Oh god, that was marinated fish. Chips and salsa? We're having ourselves a real party. And so I just need crackers. Honey graham crackers or some bullshit. And chocolate and marshmallows. And that's, that's, that's what a s'more is. Because I'm dedicated to this journey of finding the correct s'mores ingredients. I even searched up what the correct substitute is because we don't have them in Australia. And apparently it's the wheat meal biscuit. So here we are. I'm special. Well, it's my lucky day. Ooh, I'm special again. Oh yeah. Hello, I'm back from the shops. It was a generally okay experience, except for when I forgot the marshmallows and I realized while I was standing in the line, do that circle straight back into the restaurant. Restaurant? Coles is about as much of a restaurant as McDonald's is. Shade, throw. Get my marshmallows, bring it back. The family's still talking to the lady. The lady sees me, family sees me. Kids look at me and they're like, what the fuck are you doing? And then I pay for it, then I leave. It Sort of negative. And I walked in to find a kitchen sponge that the cat had somehow pissed on. And I need to wash my hands after doing that. It's currently quarter to 10. It's getting late, my friends, and we haven't even had dinner. But that's the sleepover vibe, brother. Shame on you. So I need to turn the oven on. Grandmother's pizza. I managed to find the one that we used to get. Haha, -ha, motherfucker. God, it was a little bit wild out there tonight. Oh, by the way, my snack is chips and salsa. I've been feeling like chips and salsa for about a week. Oh. Oh. Ah. You know when you smell something? Oh my god. Like that or like salt and vinegar chips and then your mouth immediately starts watering. <laughs> Get these away from me. <laughs> the joke is that a lot of white mums say that. It's been some, t some time has passed, and in that time I've eaten all of this. I'm not very proud of myself, but a small part of me is, is proud that I managed to finish that. Now I'm feeling kind of full, but the oven just finished heating up. It's, it's pizza, it's pizza time. Cause this is a sleepover, and at sleepovers you eat pizza. I've, so I've sort of forgotten this is a sleepover. And the cat's outside, my guests have left me. My visitors, my guests, and you, I guess you haven't left me, but again, you're an inanimate object, so. Rest easy, my little sugar plum. I forgot to get a drink. I forgot to, I forgot to get a drink. And the only thing I possibly drink that's from the fridge is either coconut water or a bottle of homebrewed beer. Not really, uh, no, not really that appetizing. <laughs> you, you hear that? That's the sound of happiness and pizza. Oh shit, we look at burnt. Okay, that's gonna sit and rest. And then I'm gonna go downstairs and set up. And that involves changing the, the kitty litter. This, my friends and family, is the kitty litter. The scooper. Oh, holy smokes. It's almost like sifting for gold, except it's the opposite of gold. So it's sort of like not sifting for gold, but the same motion. There you go, your little cat. The toilet is ready. Nothing tastes better than water when you're thirsty. No, no, nothing in the world tastes better than water when you are thirsty. That's a fact. Nice fact, you fuckwit. I cannot believe I ate all those corn chips. It's movie time, it's movie time, it's movie time, it's movie time. You are nothing more than a child in a large child's body. Stupid child.
And as is tradition with all of my childhood sleepovers, I'm gonna light a scented candle to avoid the stench of cat feces. Haha, -ha, bitch. Bet you didn't think I was gonna get that first try. This pizza, holy smokes, tastes exactly like grandma made it. And by made it, I mean heat up in the oven after we bought it from the shops. The original Ghostbusters. I think it's too late. I think I don't, I don't, I don't I'm not gonna finish no, this movie if I start watching it. So I think I might, I'm, I'm gonna just watch a TV show. I, I, yeah, yeah, shut the fuck. Learn how to speak, you animal. I like watching comedians in cars a lot. Let's see if there's one I haven't watched. All right, a French comic that I've never heard of. Let's give it a go. Wait, you don't wanna watch this? Well, too bad. Again, you're an inanimate object and you don't get a say in these things. Please to watch the videos though, otherwise. Thank you, Grandma. Ha! <laughs> Just as a heads up, this couch has a recliner, bitch. I just wanted to stop for a second because something funny happened on Comedians in Cars. It's like, you know when there's a lull in conversation and things just really, lulls in conversation really mess with me. I'm just not comfortable with them yet for some reason. And they put a big fat lull in this. Look, everyone's just laughing, relaxing, having a... What was the Valentine's Day? Uh, when this finishes, I'm gonna make this the s'mores. Okay, right, it's almost 12 o'clock, and uh, we, now we're going to be doing, now we're gonna be doing this, the s'mores. It's time, it's time for the s'mores. I'm gonna heat this up with the crackers and the chocolate. This is the cracker, then you meant to do the chocolate, then you meant to do the marshmallow. Okay, so this goes onto the pan. Let's load up these marshmallows. Oh, that does taste like childhood. This is what the setup looks like. <clears throat> Just me out here in the forests, in open nature, in a complete fire ban, making marshmallows. It's midnight. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's put this on a plate so you can see it. Now get a load of this. It's properly melted and everything. I was not expecting that to happen. I'll be honest, I was completely ready for the fail. But this actually looks good. Oh, oh. Holy smokes. I'm so tired. And I thought this wouldn't taste good. <coughs> but it tastes so good. Wahoo, bitch. Oh, we're not, we're not a big angle. Wahoo, bitch. Oh, oh we're still on the... We made it. We, we made it. We made it. The second smile. I like this. Whoever invented this, whatever your name was, let's call you Craig as well, as all the rest of the things in this house. You did a good job. Dear, oh dear. Now this is the point in childhood sleepers where everyone decides that they were going to stay up till sunrise and see the early morning. And this is a point where I sneakily try to weasel my way out because after having one all nighter, I decided that they weren't for me. I like my eight hours sleep. Sleep is good. What a good time we had. This is the point in the evening where everyone spends up all night talking about their lady problems at the age of like 11. But I'm just going to go to sleep. Call me a, call me a bitch, but rest is... For the wicked, no rest is not for the wicked. No rest for the wicked. So rest is for the good people. I'm I'm a good person. Thank thank you for watching. I am pregnant from all this food. You're the most precious thing in the whole wide world. Just know that I would kill anybody for you.